Hi, I'm Southern Mom, and welcome to my kitchen. So this is the very first video this year of my back to school series. So the reason why I chose backpacks lunch boxes and thermoses for the very first video of my back to school series is I actually ordered these so um, if you plan on actually ordering a set for your children you know the sooner the better because for us our school starts in just a few weeks so if you plan on ordering their backpacks or lunch boxes or thermoses or anything you plan on ordering, right now is a really good time to go ahead and get those orders in because before you know it, summer is going to be over with and school is going to start. And so this is really going to help you be less stressed just knowing that you at least have some of the foundation things that your children are going to need to go back to school. So for those of you who don't know it, I have twin girls that are just turned four years old and they're going to start a three day a week preschool. So the other days a week they'll still be with me like they have been in the previous year. But so this is their very first year that they're actually going to be starting a preschool. And I'm really excited and they're very excited. So I wanted them to have something really special for um, going back to school and of course having really cute backpacks and lunch boxes and thermoses I knew would get them excited. I also wanted them to have something that was going to be really good quality and I'm hoping that these last them for the next few years. So at least through kindergarten and maybe first grade we'll go ahead and upgrade since at least since the backpacks are probably only going to last them through kindergarten because then they'll be too big for the size backpacks that we ordered. So I ordered all of these on Pottery Barn Kids, which we have, even from when they're babies, all of their sheets and crib bedding and everything um, has always been from Pottery Barn Kids. And it's just, I know it's just a brand that I know that we can trust and then it's going to be really good quality. Basically what I did is I pulled up Pottery Barn Kids on the internet and I started looking through all of their different choices and then I let the girls sit down and go through each different style because I knew they were going to have everything matching. I wanted to make sure that it at least was something that they liked. We'll just start with Fallon's here because this is Fallon's whole little set right over here. Hers to me, I was a little surprised with the one that she chose because I figured I thought that she was going to want a little bit more pink and a little bit more girliness, like maybe some bigger hearts or stars or sparkles. I even showed her. And, and just to make sure that this was the right one, I even went onto a different website that had pink glitter because she's like a glitter glam girl. And she still wanted this. She was adamant that she wanted this one with the flowers and the hearts and so this is the set and i'll show you each little individual thing here in just a minute but i just wanted to show you this is fallon's set and this is presley's and um so like i said i have twins i also have a son that's eight he has outgrown the pottery barn kid stuff um he has had a few of those things in the past but he is now older and he has like a Nike or Under Armour, you know. So for his, we usually just go to Academy and pick him up a nice backpack. So this video, I've got the boys out, but so if you have a little boy, they have just as many super cute, I mean really cute, anything from uh, dinosaurs to they also have like the Marvel action figures as well, I believe. I believe they have Star Wars and things like that. So definitely check that out. But, um, so I have girls and this is what they chose. And I'm just gonna start, so let's just start with the lunch boxes. And just to let you know, the lunch boxes, the thermoses, and the backpacks are all customizable. You can embroider your child's name and they give you a different, they give you a couple of different colors and fonts to choose from. Um, so you can either get it done through Pottery Barn Kids or you can go do it yourself somewhere. But the price is reasonable. So I chose to just do their um, lunch boxes. I just felt like these would be the easiest thing for them to lose. And since more than likely these will be in their backpacks, just for safety reasons, I didn't put them on the backpacks, but I have done that in the past. Braxton's had his name on his in the past, but um, this year I just went with 
the launch boxes. They do have the little zipper here in the very front and this is, it's insulated so it has a silver insulation. I normally put napkins here but you can put other items there as well. On the side it has a very nicely made like thick and stretchy uh, thermos or drink holder which is perfect for the thermoses that I got. I mean, how cute is this? They match. This is so adorable. I'm so excited. Well, it's kind of heavy. The back here, you'll see that they have a couple of loops, and I'll show you here in a minute where you can attach these on the backpack if you would like. These are not going to collapse. Some of, like a lot of a children's place and, is it chill? Yeah. I was in children's place yesterday, and I was looking at some of their lunch boxes, and they're, they're really cute. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, they don't have the sturdiness like these so like you could smush them if you wanted I just like how sturdy these are so when you unzip them look how pretty that is it's very sturdy insulated inside so you know if you have an ice pack in here it's gonna stay nice and cool and insulated it has the zipper here at the top there's an area to put their name phone number address and their email my girls don't have emails yet, so that won't be used. And a little Pottery Barn Kids tag right here. So, and that's it. And Fallon have her name here in pink, with like the darker pink. So, and hers is, this is kind of like a dark gray with some nice floral print with two different kinds, of, like a magenta and a lighter pink. And um, it also has some little white hearts and this is what she chose and she was very adamant about it and so I'm excited for her. Presley's, I won't open hers up because it's going to be exactly the same, but you can see that she chose, I love this, this is so cute. I feel like this is more age appropriate. I was actually surprised that Fallon just chose the ones with the flowers. Um, I was thinking hers was going to be a little bit more like this, but that's okay. You know, they all have their own personalities. That's why I wanted to go ahead and ask them what they wanted. So, but Presley picked this one out, and so it has these really cute little unicorns that have three little hearts here on the bottom, and some cute little rainbows and clouds, and I think this is so cute. And she also got the matching thermos. So I'll go ahead and show you the thermos. Um, it's nice, it's like sturdy, you can tell it's nice quality and it opens very, very smoothly. So the mouthpiece is like a very soft and squishy um, plastic material. So, I mean, it's really soft. So I know that when they're drinking, it's not gonna be like this hard, um, kind of like the, if you saw my dollar store thermos videos the other day, you know, obviously that's a hard thermos, but this is gonna be a lot softer. And like I said, it opens very simple for the kids. They have a lot of thermoses like this, but I just thought it was really cute that they were gonna match so they wouldn't lose them. Okay, so just a few little things in addition to what I've already said. This is actually the McKinsey brand. So this whole set is McKinsey from the backpacks to the lunch boxes to the thermoses. That is the brand that I chose. There's other different kinds to choose from. I chose the McKinsey. This is the classic lunch bag. From reading the details on the website, this is actually a water repellent material. It's BPA free. I'm gonna go ahead and show you now the backpacks, which I think are super cute. These come in several different sizes. There is a smaller size than this and then a larger size. If they were maybe upper twos, threes, I would choose the smaller one. But since they are four, you know, next year they'll be in kindergarten. I wanted to at least get something they could use this year and next year in kindergarten. And I feel like this is a good size. The McKinsey brand size small. And if you want exact measurements, I have it here. It's 12 inches by six inches by 15 inches high. So, um, and it also says that they recommend, this is for students 42 to 48 inches tall. This holds a lunch bag, two small books, two small notebooks, and a water bottle. So that's what is advertised. I mean, it, it actually could hold two water bottles because it has the nice sturdy, just like the lunchbox, this is more of the, this is stretchy material. Like some backpacks, I mean, it's, 
it won't stretch but this one actually will stretch and it has a little bit of mesh here on the sides a water bottle or a thermos could fit on the side of their backpacks as well nicely so what's nice about having an extra buckle here is it's going to give them additional support when they're wearing their backpacks so and it's adjustable here in the front you will see these two now this is what i was talking about a little bit earlier and you can and it's, it's your choice i feel like it might be a little bit heavy for the girls i guess it just depends on what i have inside of their bag if they already have maybe if it's a day that they say they can take a stuffed toy and a blanket and um, they need a change of clothes or anything like that i could i could see um definitely hooking on their hooking on their lunch boxes but um, it's just going to depend on how much we have in here, whether I put the lunchbox inside the backpack or hook it in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and hook it on the front, but I was going to show you here. This is one strap and then this is the other one that's going to go through. Okay, so you can see that I have it latched onto the front now, but it does make it pretty, you know, it comes out a little bit. But what's nice is that you know this is an option whether you choose to or not they may need to get a teacher to help them unlatch it or if you want to teach them at home so this is what it's going to look like if you choose to latch the uh, lunch box here on the front of your backpack so it's going to look just like so so i'm going to go ahead and, and latch it and show you the additional pockets here in the front so you do have a pouch here in the very front, and then it has compartments here. One, two, three, four, and you can put pens or pencils here. These are definitely the smaller little holes for pens or pencils, and you can put notepads. Um, anything that's small in this area, they've definitely thought of everything. Plenty of space. So right here, you could even put some pens or pencils. I can fit my pinky through these two holes right here in the front actually there's three of them so if you want to put highlighters or pens or something like that you could there's also a top little pocket so i can maybe fit half of my hand in there so just for smaller little items maybe if they have need money for a certain activity or if they wear sunglasses to school or you may maybe a necklace or jewelry or anything like that they can unzip this top area and just toss it right in here then here's the larger zipper okay so this is what the inside of the backpack looks like it's like a gray color and there's a velcro pocket here that you can put um, papers or folders or whatever you would like then there's just the large area in the middle here it's kind of like that then on this side and by the way there's kind of like this little hole on both of them i'm not really sure what it's for other than maybe ventilation um i didn't really research that but i'm assuming maybe that's what it is i don't know if you have one of these and you know let me know in the comments below and um, this could be kind of like a little chain it's like they have a little change pouch i'm not sure exactly what else it would be but this is another option if you want to put some quarters in here for them to buy out of the machine or anything like that just like in their lunchbox they have the silver metallic name phone number address option so that and this is where i plan to put the girls and um, information is right here on the inside of their backpack okay so that concludes today's video i have a lot of videos that are coming up including where I hang their backpacks. I have a command center I wanna show you. I have future children's lunches. So if you're interested, I'm gonna be doing some lunch videos and where I store all of their lunch items here in my kitchen and so much more. So if you're interested in any of that, give me a thumbs up below and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Also, if you're not a subscriber, if you hit that subscribe button below, you'll be notified in the future whenever I have a new video, which will be every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then also I'll have some vlogs probably on Sundays or just various days. So I'll be adding back to school videos every Monday through the whole entire month of August. I'll also have some children's school activities and I'll be following the kids throughout the year and making videos about what they're learning. Even though they're at school learning, I'm also going to be working through 
some of their lesson plans and things here at the house. And so um, Braxton and his elementary school, I'll be going through and reviewing with y'all some of the things he's working on each week and also what the girls are working on in preschool and what we do here to kind of reiterate what they're learning. They'll be going through all of the letters and just all kinds of different stuff that I'm really excited to share with you guys. So be sure to subscribe and thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.